I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. Better time for savers, not so much for borrowers. After the Bank of Canada raised interest rates again today, third time this year, fifth time over the past year and a half, to the highest benchmark interest rate we've seen since the collapse of Lehman Brothers back in 2008. Went up a quarter of a percent to one and three quarters percent. So this affects everything that's based on the Bank of Canada's benchmark, whether it's a variable rate mortgage, home equity lines of credit, personal lines of credit, all sorts of GIC rates for savers as well could be going up from all of this. The reason? Well, we've got inflation on the rise, the economy doing well, and Senior Deputy Governor Carolyn Wilkins at the Bank of Canada says all signals are pointing to further interest rate hikes to come. So what stands out is that even with today's in increase in the policy rate to 1.75 percent, monetary policy remains stimulative. In fact, the policy rate today is still negative in real terms. That is, once you adjust for inflation. Now, while the cost of borrowing is going up, this could have a slowing effect on the real estate market and certainly consumer spending as debt levels have reached record highs. Some analysts thinking the Bank of Canada might be a little bit too far ahead on all of this because of record high borrowing by consumers. Now, while interest rates are going up, the price for gas is coming down by three cents per liter tonight to $1.189, lowest since early February. We've seen the slump for the price for oil this week. Canadian crude uh, over the course of the past two trading days has dropped by well over 10 percent on rising global supply. U.S. inventories have been up. Saudi Arabia has been pumping more oil and uh, less demand right now at this time of year for gasoline, keeping the price of the pumps at multi-month lows. Good, a bit of a good news story here in the retail sector. Fairfax Financial, which owns Golf Town, is merging it with another uh, big name brand in retail, Sporting Life. Uh, Fairfax putting these two companies together. They're going to keep their individual brands and stores, 11 across Canada for Sporting Life, 47 for Golf Town, but they'll save money through technology, staffing, and supply management. Yeah. Uh, Fairfax earlier this year bought out Toys R Us Canada and has been expanding its retail presence. Good quarterly earnings update on Tim Hortons, which was looking for a bounce back after some first half struggles with franchises, cost containment, and other issues. The uh, same store sales results for Timmy's in the third quarter rose six tenths of a percent. That was uh, above forecast and one of the better performers in the stable of brands operated by Restaurant Brands International, which also has Burger King and Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen. And Tim Hortons, the uh, rollout of all day breakfast across Canada helped bolster the bottom line. Another slump for stocks today on Bay Street. The big banks' uh, share prices did not uh, like the rising interest rate environment. Those sold off. We also saw cannabis producers trade lower for a seventh consecutive day. Meantime, the Canadian dollar did rise back above 77 cents in a higher interest rate environment. Send a lot of investors to the Canadian currency. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.